Hey, how you guys doing? It's Michael Stroud, Computer MD of Gilbert here. Um, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on one of those virus softwares that I told you about and how I told you super anti-spyware you must run either once a day or once every other day and then a full, see, as you can see right here where it says, uh, I'll make it bigger. As you can see right here it says complete scan and quick scan. So what I was saying is you have to run a quick scan every day or every other day. A complete scan every two to three days you should run on Super Anti-Spyware. Uh, now these ones, they're not, I mean, of course every one of these are important, but these you have to set your own up. Um, critical point scan, it's, I mean, that's not entirely important. The important ones are these because these will run through your uh, your whole system and check and obviously they'll check for spyware and malware. Whoops, we're gonna decline this one. Sorry about that. Um, so actually I'm gonna start. As you can see, our last scan was 16 days ago, and I haven't been using this computer downstairs. I've been using my laptop, so I'm gonna start a scan right now. Now. To do that, as you just saw, I clicked uh, complete scan, and then I press start scan. Now, we want, no, we don't want that one, but we want these included in uh, in our scan. Now, it's going to scan for, obviously, malware and spyware, spyware most importantly, because hence the name, super anti-spyware. Um, and as you can see, it says complete scan, scans all running items, known registry locations, and scans every file on the selective drives. This is recommended at least once every 30 days. Now, they say 30 days, but I'm telling you that you get malware or you get spyware every single day. Every time you go online, uh, most of the time you get spyware. So, it's good to run it every day because it will keep your computers clean. And if if you can't run it every day at least every other day now this is your scan boost it utilizes the full power of your cpu as you're reading uh... the scanning speed will be faster but the use of your computer will be slower so i always go on low boost and it takes a little while longer but you'll be able to do other things quicker on the computer so yes you can do things while you're scanning but when it's on a high boost it slows the rest of your things down when it's on a low boost you could still do other things and maybe not to top speed but it will be much quicker than on high boost uh... this scans your uh, zip archives and now all i have to you can see scanning preferences uh, I already have them set to mine, um, and it it just it scans this. You it usually comes um, already preset up on most of these things. Um, you could change them if you want, but usually it comes preset up. That is, if you download it from the correct sites, which is superantispyware.com and download.com or CNET. Same thing, CNET and download.com are the same. But now I'm going to start a complete system scan. So now what it's doing is over here, it shows how many items have been scanned already. Or, sorry, how many memory items have been scanned already. And this shows how many registry items it's been scanned already. As you can see, it's already gone through thousands and thousands of registry items, and it's already gone through uh, a few thousand file items. Now, memory items are bigger, which is why, see, as you can see, now I, I was hoping that these would come up during the tutorial. These are adware tracking cookies, okay? So, these aren't entirely, like, these aren't something that, it's spyware, it's cookies. You don't have to be afraid of these. Obviously, you don't want them on your computer, but they're not any, they can't do much harm. They're not much harm to your computer at all. So, um, it's, you know, it's not bad to, everyone's going to have cookies, okay? Uh, because whenever you go online, most of the time, you'll get cookies. 99% of the time, you'll get cookies. Um, and then when it's done, what it does, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to show you right now because the scan's going to take quite a while since it's been a few days but when it's done it brings up a little square right in the middle of your screen that says 
super anti spyware threats found it shows you you press ok and then you go back to this box right here because you'll have it minimized right down here and it will say remove threats then it will re you click remove threats and it's down here where these buttons are at and once you press remove threats it will say finished and you just click finished and it your scans done it's that simple so thank you everyone for watching today whoops and can't do that I was about to X out minimize and keep watching my other tutorial videos and more videos